Hello Leos, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of April 20th to the 27th. Okay, quite interesting. So I have these two cards that popped out first. I have the Seven of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Let's see. Five of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Empress Reverse, Eight of Wands, the Lovers, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, very good cards overall. Um, the only problematic thing I would say for this week is that um, you, for those of you who have been really busy on the work front, you need to like devote a little more time to your work, um, home environment, okay? It could be a home environment, it could be like a relationship where you're living with another person or your family situation. There is a need uh, for you to reinvest the time and the focus into your home situation, okay? So restore all the work-life imbalance and um, basically try to spend a little more time at home and uh, especially don't bring work home. I do feel that um, a lot of you two might be moving residents, like might be changing homes, might be um, even like leasing your home or subletting where people are moving in and out or, you know, you have like um, extended... Um, well, like relatives moving in with you or you might move in with other people so there is just a hodgepodge of things that can happen um, on top of it I do feel that there might be a situation in which um, it, it's in the reverse position so I do feel that if your house is on the market there might be news concerning like buyers who are trying to lowball you in that situation but I do feel that you know they're starting out with a very modest offer so at the end of it, I do feel they are going to raise their offer. So, you know, don't worry about that, okay? It might be a little frustrating because you know your house is worth more, but the buyer refuses to, like, accept it. So it's just drawn out, and it's just a part, a whole part of the bargaining process. So don't get too frustrated. Um, a lot of you, too, might be moving in with a potential, like, life partner or, like, a love interest, or you are... Um, some of you two might deal with a situation in which you're taking the relationship to the next level and you, you or your lover might, uh, you know, suggest that um, you move in together. One or both parties might not feel that um, they're ready, but they feel that it's the natural thing to do, so they might rush into it without feeling as if they're completely ready. But either way, I feel that it does have a very good outcome, okay? You're going to, like, renew your love and your commitment, and you're actually going to be very happy living with each other and sharing this private space with one another. So overall, the week looks very soothing. It just looks very romantic, very happy. And um, on top of that, you have like good news coming in left and right. So everything looks very fruitful and fulfilling. Um, I would just say that, you know, the, the fighting is going to stop if there has been like, um, I guess, um, miscommunications even or even disagreements in the past. I feel like the disagreements are not over major things. It's just lifestyle differences and like differences in opinion, minor things, you know, that can't, that that are not going to break this relationship either way. But I do feel that um, that situation is definitely going to lift because you might be spending more time with one another. You, It could also even be like a work situation in which there's a change in the office, the space is bigger, people are not like um, coming into close contact and bumping into one another. So the workflow and everything is better as a result so there's like greater productivity so you know it, it could play out in a multitude of ways but I do feel that in general if this is a work environment um, you're going to be very very happy and you're going to like be ultra you know super focused at work so make sure you you know take adequate steps to spend time with your loved ones because I do feel that um, you need to withdraw from the work environment uh, for a little bit okay the only thing I would say is um, some of you might be dealing with like fertility issues in which like um, you know you it could be like fertility first of all because you're too busy at work or it could be like um, a situation where you're um, you're attracted to your partner but you can't really find the time to really be alone so it's it's that's the only like problematic thing but you know keep in mind these are in the greater scheme of things these are very very minor energy and the rest of the week looks very good so um, financially you you are going to be fine you and your partner and um, 
let me see if there's anything else that I've left out. So um, there's just, you know, like the second half of this week, there's going to be like a, a very harmonious mental rapport. You both are seeing eye to eye, and then you both are like agreeing on a lot of the same things. So the disagreements are definitely going to be left behind. For those of you who are interested in a love partner, I would definitely say like um, try to get out there because the cards are very fruitful for you to meet new romantic love interests and to meet somebody who is very compatible with you and who um, who might want the same things like you know the stable relationships or who even if it's not a stable relationship I feel that you both will be um, on the same wavelength when it comes to what you want out of life and out of um, you know whether it's a short fling or a long-term relationship, you will be on the same page, okay? So really get out there and celebrate. I do feel that um, the weekend itself, you know, really try to get out and about because um, spend time with your loved ones if you want to, but get out there because the more visible you are, the more good luck will come your way, okay? So either way, have a wonderful, wonderful week, and I feel that you're going to be very happy this week, okay? Um... Let me know how this plays out in your life, too. So I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.